Kia ora koutou, rangatahi ma. It's Fire Cat here, and I am going to teach you how to make a pinwheel. Just like that. Using the Kofi Fire that we have been learning how to draw over the last couple of lessons. Okay, so first of all, you will need your template. And essentially, all we need to do is design or fill in one of these triangles on our piece of paper. Okay, so I am going to start off with or draw a kōru and this is going to be the design on my pinwheel. So you draw it on your template like that and then you are going to get a piece of vinyl. So a piece of vinyl is basically a big sticker and as you can see I've already cut some out but what you are going to do is you are going to put your piece of paper on the top of your vinyl and you want to trace over the design that you've just drawn and the aim here is to push hard on your pencil on the piece of vinyl and paper so you can see that there's a bit of an indent so this will guide you as to where you need to cut so you can use a piece of so you can use a pair of scissors or you can use a craft knife so I'm going to use a craft knife and this is how you use it so you only need to out a little bit and then to lock it you pull that part this little part down here so then it won't retract and now the other thing is that you want to hold it like this so you don't want to hold it like this, like a pen. You want to hold it like that and have it on a 45 degree angle. And keep your fingers out of the way because if your fingers are here and you slip, you will cut these ones. So try and keep them out of the way. Now you might have to shimmy around and move around so you can see where those lines are. But you just want to carefully spin your vinyl around so you can get those curves and you don't want to push too hard because you don't want to go right through the vinyl and the piece of backing paper that's on it so just nice and light you don't need to apply too much pressure and not don't cut onto the table like I am I can't find my mat at the moment here we go and then you peel it off like so and then you're going to put your template underneath your piece of plastic like so and then you are going to stick down your piece of vinyl now it is a little bit tricky but you can still pull it off so maybe if I start there and then I follow it around just like that so just like magic I've already started another one I just need to finish it off. So the last, I'll just put the last one on. So as you can see, I've just repeated the process. So I just keep turning it around on that same design. So then your design becomes pretty consistent. So this is the last one to go. Okay, the next part is we want to cut down the dotted line, just like so. So here we go, I've got my scissors, let me just try and line it up a little bit. And then, cut up to the circle, we don't want to cut all the way. And I might just take off these little bits on the other side. So you just use your nail. Get those off there just to make it a little bit tidier. Okay, 
Okay, now that's part one. Okay, so now what you want to do, these empty triangles, we want to fold it up into the middle. Now this is a little bit tricky. You might have to get your teacher to help you or get a buddy to help you. And you basically want to fold it into the middle and you want these little pointed, you want the pointed ends to be overlapping a little bit because that's where the pin's going to go through. So if you can see, there's kind of like a little star in the middle. So that's exactly what you want. See, and as you can see, it's actually quite hard to do. So just take your time. Don't rush and get some help if needed. So if I hold it down like that and I find my pin. So I'm going to pop this through. Just be careful of your fingers on the other side. There we go. So that hopefully that should hold all our, all our pieces in. Now, the next part is you're going to have a different pin, a longer one, and you're going to get a chopstick. Okay. So if we take this one out, I mean, your teacher could have a better way of doing this, but this is kind of the only way I could figure it out. You've got your little hole from your pin, and then you're going to put this one through, just like that. And that's going to hold it all together. And then you're going to stick it into your chopstick. Uh-oh, that wasn't meant to happen. And then you're going to stick it in there like that. Let me just try and get this last one on there. Stick that in there like that. Hopefully that stays. Phew! And there we go. <laughs> there is our pinwheel. Alright, hopefully that makes sense. And you know, there's lots of vinyl, so you could even put some designs in here, like the feather design or the potama, the stairs. Um, is it the nahuruhuru? I think that might be just be feathers. Anyway, I'm rambling. If you have any questions, just let your teacher know. Um, and good luck. Look forward to seeing your designs soon.